بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم What is your intention? Is your intention to follow shaitan in your ego? Or is your intention to follow Allah and his prophet? First look at your intention. Say you're saying, I intend to follow Allah and his prophet. Then there are several conditions to that. Is there a condition? Of course there are conditions. What is the condition? You obey Allah. But Allah is saying, obey his prophet. And he didn't leave there. He says, obey your rightly guided leaders. Otherwise, everyone saying, I'm obeying Allah in my own style, in my own way, and they're just obeying shaitan in your ego. There are thousands who are doing that. There are thousands in the name of Allah and His Prophet, and they're committing evil acts that is open for everyone to see that this is not what Allah and His Prophet is commanding you to do. That time, you are saying, I'm for haq, but you're actually for batil. You're saying I'm for truth, but you're actually for falsehood, for evil. So you check your intention. You say I'm for Allah and His Prophet. Good. Are you obeying His Prophet? Are you following the sunnat? Are you following your own idea of what Allah is speaking to you about? You're obeying the Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam. Good. It is not enough. Obey your rightly guided leaders. Are you now obeying the inheritors of the Prophet? The Prophet's representatives, the Allah, the Shaykhs, are you obeying them? Are you submitting? Are you being obedient and serving? You say, yes, I am. Good. Then that time you're working hard to close the doors of Batil and to open the doors to Haq. Because it doesn't finish there. That, when you enter into that ocean, of serving your shaykh, it is endless. You cannot ever close that door. When you are saying, I'm serving, I'm with a shaykh, I'm serving, so, like what we said earlier, he's gone, what we said earlier, then you're going to question yourself. You say, I'm now, I'm a murid. What did I do today that fits into that description of a murid? I'm serving today. What fits into the description that I'm serving today? I'm here to step on my ego. What did I do today that I can say my ego wants something very badly and I say no? What did I do today to fight against my ego? You're busy fighting, taking from the advice taking from the sohbet and you're using that, you're not opening the doors to battle. Because once a person is doing that, he's opening the doors to what? To haq, to correct them in any way. Haq may correct it through a little kid and you're going to say, maybe there is something there for me. Haq is going to correct you through your friend, you're going to understand. Through your enemy, you're going to understand. It's going to come through something you read, something you see, your heart is going to pick it up and you're going to say, maybe there is something for me. Even if there's nothing there for you, but because you say, maybe there is something there for me, you're opening it up, you are going to get blessed, you're not going to get cursed. It's going to be very clear than that time. You're not going to be stubborn. It's impossible, you're going to be stubborn. You're not going to be arrogant than that time. It is impossible because you're doing everything else to fight against your stubbornness and arrogance. But you're going to see, I'm stubborn like this. I'm, I'm going to keep working. You keep working. That time, of course, we are weak. We are doing things and we are failing. But immediately we understand what it is that we have done. We ask for forgiveness and we try to correct it. We're not going to get stuck. We're not going to get to be in gaflet. The one who is not looking, he is in gaflet. When you're not looking, you're not questioning. You are not analyzing. You're not weighing. You will be in gaflet. You are stuck there, thinking everything is okay. Don't worry about it. Shah is going to pray for me. It never works that way. As much as enough, inshallah, Rahman. 
May Allah keep us in the Sirat al Mustaqim. This is important for us because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making us to recite every single day more than 40 times a day. Keep us in the Sirat al Mustaqim. Ihdina Sirat al Mustaqim. Keep us in the straight path, not the path of those who have deviated or the path of those who are pulling your anger. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could just easily say, thank you for keeping us in the straight path. Finish. But it is a prayer, it is a hope, it is fighting. And it's being very specific what kind of path we should not go. Which means that in the Sirat al-Mustaqim, in this life, in this world, because of this dunya and shaitan, our ego and our nafs, in the Sirat al-Mustaqim, we may deviate. We may be deviating in this right way, in the way of tariqat, in the way of Islam. We may deviate because of our ego, not because the road is wrong. We are off the road. To pull the anger of Allah, to deviate. And we say, keep us in the straight path. The path of those, what? That you have shown favor to. The prophets and the saints of Allah. So if you're not allowing them to kick you back into the uh, path, into their way, into the Sirat al-Mustaqim, so what are you relying on? Yourself? Ourself? May Allah keep us in the Sirat al-Mustaqim. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the Holy Prophet, like said to us, salam, our grand shaykh and our shaykh, and make us to become more awake, inshallah. Keep us in safety. Keep evil away from us. Make us to become more sincere. Make us to become less angry. To take away anger and the stubbornness, the arrogance and the jealousy away from us. And to build the kingdom of truth here. And to welcome Hazrat Mahdi alayhi salam and our share here. To defeat the Dajjal and the evil. Inshallah Rahman. Wa min Allahu tawfiq al-Fatiha. Amin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Salamat.